let's introduce our speaker. Dr. Mespin Beero is a public health consultant, is a Ethiopian national currently living and working in the United States. And he served a, in the regional leadership for ICMD East Africa as the regional secretary for about seven to eight years. And he handed over to Dr. Alex, who is the current regional secretary. Dr. Mesfin uh, has been instrumental in leadership training, especially the saline process and other leadership programs. He's a family man, he's married, he has two boys and two girls, and he has one wife. Dr. Mesfin, you're welcome to take us through the session. Thank you. Okay, uh, thank you, uh, Dr. Stephen, uh, <clears throat> for the introduction. So the topic that uh, I am given is, uh, uh, um, I'm given to speak about it, uh, is, is entitled, Who Am I? So um, for the last couple of days, I mean, starting from yesterday, we have been uh, going through uh, messages, I mean, coming from, uh, 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 I mean, a priest, uh, and also the speaker earlier today, uh, they all have been emphasizing on the, the calling of God. So, um, whenever we consider uh, the, the calling of God in our lives, uh, it's also important to know actually who, who we are or who am I? I mean, that, that's being called by the Almighty uh, to, to serve his purpose. So what I'm speaking about is, uh, uh, I mean, if, I mean, who, 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 I mean, who is the person that's being called and uh, how am I going to make, uh, I mean, an impact or, or fulfill the call that God has given? So um, can, can you see the slide, the second slide? Uh, uh, Dr. Stephen, can, can, can you see the slide? Oh, I've, I'm seeing yes. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Probably so, you can put in presentation mode. You can put in presentation mode. Okay. Let me let me let me do it. Uh, uh. Can you see it now? Yes. You can go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I mean, first of all, I mean, I would like. You, I mean, I would like you, your attention uh, to, to, to a certain notice somewhere, uh, which says, uh, I mean, now hiring. And uh, I mean, everybody wants to be hired and one wants to get some kind of job. And when you look into uh, the, 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 the details, then you say that, um, I mean, this is the best job position in the world. I mean, one of the things that's being said about the job is that it's, it's the best job position in the world. Uh, and I mean, because when, when we talk about job position, I mean, we have our own, uh, I mean, dreams or, or what you call a dream job. I mean, maybe we would like to be a CEO or a manager or an officer or an assistant. I mean, even in the medical profession, I mean, there are different levels. I mean, we would like to be a, a CEO of a big hospital, or uh, maybe a minister of health, or maybe we are managing, I mean, a, a health, I mean, a huge health program, and so and so forth. So, the first thing that we'll be looking into is, I mean, I mean, uh, how, how, I mean, well, what is the position of that job? And if we see that that is the best job position that we ever know, then this is something that we, we, I mean, we will be running to. And then, I mean, the, 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 the second thing we are going to look into is, uh, are, are the benefits, because every job, I mean, have its own benefits. I mean, there are quite a, lot, a number of benefits that are associated uh, with the jobs. So when we talk about the benefits, I mean, we'll be looking to the salary. So how much uh, am I going to earn every month? So, so that, that is the kind of question we ask. And also, I mean, does this job have a, a medical insurance for myself and also for my family? I mean, this is also, I mean, I mean another thing that, um, I mean, we will consider. 
And then also we'll be asking about, uh, I mean, allowances uh, like, I mean, does it have uh, education allowances or does it cover, I mean, the expenses of my children in college? I mean, is something that we would like to know or does it have like fuel allowances, travel allowances and so on and so, on and so forth. And also, do they provide a car? I mean, uh, uh, the, the, uh, the organization car that they can use. So, I mean, these are the kind of things that, that we consider. So we, I mean, whenever we look into a job, I mean, we will also be looking at uh, well, what, the bene what are the benefits. Then the, the third thing that we'll be looking into is the freedom. I mean, that this job has a freedom. Uh, meaning, I mean, I mean, are we allowed to work uh, in the non-traditional hours? Or, I mean, sh or, uh, I mean, uh, I am strictly supposed to be at, uh, I mean, 8 a.m. in the office and then leave at maybe at 5 or 5.30 uh, p.m. in the afternoon. So, I mean, does it have such a strict regulation or does it have some kind of freedom? Uh, and, and, I mean, where I can work, I mean, from wherever I am. And also we'll be looking to the, the flexibility issue. Uh, because I mean, maybe we can work from home, we can work from office or, or, or we can work from anywhere. So this job, I mean, we would like to find out whether that job has the flexibility that we need. And, and then we will also, I mean, would like to know actually, I mean, before applying for the job, we will also to, I mean, when will be the closing date? So, now, I mean, there is uh, an advertisement going out for a job, and that job is said to be the best job position in the world, and it has the top benefits, unlimited freedom, excellent flexibility, and for unlimited time. I mean, so, I mean, whenever we got that, that kind of job, I mean, we, we, we will really be excited. And in the next one, actually, when we just look into the, the details, so I think, uh, can, can you see my next slide? Yes, it's clear. I can see. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, like, like, like when it, so then it said that uh, it is the kingdom of God that is uh, hiring because we have we have seen that there are people being hired, and and when we, when we got closer, we found out that uh, it is the kingdom of God. I mean, that's now hiring, and it's hiring workers for the harvest. So this is the kind of job actually that. Uh, the, the, that is out there. So the question is, uh, am I fit for the job? Because, uh, because this is the work of the kingdom of God or something spiritual, uh, it doesn't mean that, I mean, I will automatically qualify for the job. But I mean, this is something, I mean, that I have to look into myself and see, I mean, if I am really fit for the job. So there are there is a, a, a recruitment process. I mean, as you know, in every job, there is the process uh, that uh, I mean employees uh, have to go through before they, they they get the offer. So the the first one that we are supposed to do is the job application. So I mean, in order to get employed, I mean, I have to apply for the job. And, and that application needs to be approved. So, I mean, it is when, the applica when my application is approved, that at least, I mean, I will pass through the first step. So here, I mean, the, the job that I've talked about and uh, which was just announced is, I mean, uh, is a kind of job where applications are accepted uh, 24 seven, I mean, meaning I mean, uh, every month of the year, I mean, we are, we, we can apply in every day of the month and in every hour of the day and every minute of the hour and, and, and then every second of the minute. So, I mean, so this job is, this job position is open and I mean, anyone can apply. I mean, and then, I mean, if we qualify, then definitely, I mean, the applications, I mean, for, for employment, uh, will be approved. So the, the first step in the recruitment process is the job application. So when you come, when, when we when we bring it to 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 the job of uh, uh, I mean uh, of the kingdom of God that, that we are being hired, I mean to serve in the harvest field. I mean definitely, I mean this 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 job is 
out there for all of us every month of the year every day of the month and 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 i mean we can apply any time so, so, it, so it's open so the second step uh, in the recruitment process is the i mean the the initial screening so it's about qualification so uh, as i've said earlier i mean we need to qualify for the job and uh, the first qualification, um, or, or, or maybe the only qualification that we are going to have is whether we are a follower of Jesus Christ. So, I mean, it, it's about being a follower or a professor. So, um, Jesus Christ I mean, wants people who follow him. So, I mean, it is, it is those people who, who can be used by him, and it, it is those, kind, those people that are going to be hired by him, I mean, to serve in the harvest field. But, I mean, Jesus is not looking for a professor. He's looking for a, a follower. I mean, it's not how educated we are, or uh, it's not how, how skillful we are, or, I mean, it's not about how, I mean, talented we are, I mean, of course, I mean, all these things can be used later in, I mean, uh, later in the, in the process. But the first thing that God wants from each of us is whether we are a follower. So if you are a follower, then this is, uh, this is the qualification. I mean, follower means many things. I mean, if you follow Jesus, I mean, we're listening to his voice. We are uh, being obedient. We are studying his word. We are praying. We are having a fellowship with him. So, I mean, uh, following Jesus uh, means, I mean, everything that we do in relation, I mean, in our relationship with him, uh, all matters. And therefore, I mean, he's looking for a follower. So, I mean, this is the first, this is the qualification that, uh, I mean, I mean that, that have to go through the initial screening. And the second thing is the experience. So, because, I mean, every people need someone with, who, who's experienced. Because whenever you apply to a job, then they will ask you, I mean, uh, how many years of experience do you have? So God is also looking for, I mean, someone with experience. But what is that experience? So, I mean, do you have the experience of trusting the Lord or are we self-confident? I mean, uh, I was very excited actually when the previous speaker uh, for the plenary session was mentioning about the danger of self-confidence, I mean, which is uh, really something that we need to, I mean, uh, to, to, to put aside. So God is looking for someone who's trusting the Lord and trusting the Lord can be expressed in many ways. I mean, we will never consider ourselves to be someone who is knowledgeable. Uh, we will never consider ourselves to be someone who is fit, but we will always re rely on him and say that by the grace of God, yes, I am fit for this. By the grace of God, I can do that. Uh, by, I mean, by, by, by the health that God has given me, I will do this. And even by the intellectual, I mean, by, by, I mean, by, by the talent that he has given me, I will do this and that. So, I mean, in everything and for everything, we have to trust the Lord. And he's, he, God is looking, God is really looking for someone who is trusting him. So this is the kind of experience that God wants us to have. Then, <clears throat> then I mean, uh, in, in the recruitment process, I mean, we will go through the panel of interviews. So uh, there is an interview question, I mean, that we will be asked. So um, to my surprise, I mean, there was someone who was interviewed in the Bible by Jesus Christ, I mean, before he was given the task. And, and it was Peter. So we read in, in the Gospel of John, chapter 21, verse 15 to 17, that uh, I mean, Jesus was asking Peter three important questions. But all these questions are about the same thing. So it was the question of loving the Lord. So Jesus was asking Peter, do you love me? 
so this was this was the question do you love me so um god is i mean the so we, we, when we come to the interview then god is asking if we are someone who love him i mean loving jesus means a lot uh it's not something that we'll just say with our words or it's not something that we'll just say with our emotions but rather i mean this is something that is expressed through being obedient to the holy word of god so jesus was asking for someone who loves him so the the first question that uh, jesus posed to peter is i mean do you love me more than this uh, i mean more than this means i mean it means uh, maybe i mean uh, i mean we, we we can take this question to i mean to 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 a lot of things so the first thing might be whether jesus i mean whether peter loved jesus more than all the other disciples around him or more than anything in life so i mean so he was asking him do you love me more than this is your love greater to me than your love to your fellow brothers and sisters or i mean is your love to me greater than anything that uh, this world offers so i mean the the question of loving jesus is very critical i mean uh, in the gospel i mean in in the call or in the employment um, in the harvest field so he was asking him do you love me more than this and then jesus was giving him the responsibility so if you love me then feed my lambs then again do you love me then again jesus was saying if you love me then tend my sheep and the third question was do you love me and then jesus was telling him that I mean, if, if you love me then feed my sheep so the question of love is very critical and this is the only question that god i mean asks us and that we have to respond to accordingly and it's very important that, as i've said love means everything so if we love jesus then definitely i mean i mean we we will pass uh, i mean the, the panel of interviews and uh, i mean we will be uh, i mean someone who is uh, employed i mean actually in the harvest field then the the other question i mean the i mean that employers usually i mean expect from the from the employees is uh, av availability so i mean because uh, i mean if we qualify if you pass through the uh, i mean the, the panel of interviews then still i mean they will be asking us i mean when will you be available for the job because i mean even if you have those uh, or even if we fulfill those criteria and yet are not available then it doesn't give any sense so availability is something that god really want expects from each of one, each one of us so what does that what does that availability refers to i mean so we have to be available and we, we have to be in the presence of the lord i mean we should be i mean we 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 have to be someone who is available to the lord i mean available meaning i mean we are someone who is spending time in the presence of the lord listening to his voice discerning his voice i mean out of the many so i mean we have to be, we have to really want to be i mean we have to be someone who 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 studies his word and and also who i mean who who listens to the voice of the holy spirit that's coming to us and all these things are I mean very 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 critical and important because i mean unless we are available i mean to come to him listen to his word and be in the presence of the lord then i mean we are not someone actually who will be sending out i mean who 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 i mean who god will send out to the field i mean to 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 work in the harvest so availability which is translated as our presence or, or our, our our i mean uh, i mean giving time to be in the in the presence of the lord is very important and the second issue is i mean we have to be available to serve the lord i mean time to serve i mean do we have the time to serve the lord both inside our facility or and out of our facility 
because I mean sometimes we are so busy and and entangled with all the things that this world offers and we will not have the time to serve the Lord. And uh, this is quite disappointing and this is something that we need to look into ourselves. Like, I mean, we are busy in the clinic and of course, I mean, that clinic work needs to be translated also. I mean, as, uh, I mean, a time of service that the Lord wants us to, I mean, to, to be there. And then, I mean, we can use every opportunity. I mean, whenever the patients come, whenever the, we, we meet with our colleagues in the hospitals, clinics, then definitely, I mean, we can save that opportunity, I mean, for the expansion of the, the kingdom. But I mean, if you don't have time to do that, I mean, and uh, if you think that uh, this is the time that, I mean, uh, I, I am paid by the government or by this company, I mean, to do only the clinical work and, and, I, and, and I'm not supposed to do anything, uh, I mean, uh, related to, I mean, Christian witness. And, and therefore, I mean, that will be, I mean, the, the, I mean, so, I mean, which means we don't have the time and, and we, I mean, we are not giving our time to serve the Lord. And so, I mean, our availability is, is very important. So we have to consider ourselves, I mean, are we really available to be used by the Lord? Uh, and do we have time, I mean, uh, do, we, do we spend time in the presence of him? So these are the kind of things, I mean, that we need to consider in relation to availability. Then the first thing that, uh, I mean, employers uh, actually do is um, uh, reference checks. So, I mean, after our, our application is accepted and after we pass through the panel of interviews, and then, I mean, uh, after they are sure that we are available for the job, then definitely, I mean, they will ask, I mean, they, they will love to ask some people, I mean, actually to speak on behalf of us. So this is what you call the, the, the reference checks. But here we have, uh, I mean, here our reference are, I mean, actually basically I mentioned uh, two of them. The first one is, I mean, the, the testimony of the word, and the second one is the testimony of the Holy Spirit. So, I mean, uh, do we have that testimony of the word? I mean, that we are really someone who is a follower of Christ, because I mean, usually the, the, the reference checks are conducted uh, to validate uh, our experiences. Because I mean, we have, we have, we have, we have said a lot to, to, to our interviewers or to, um, to our employers. But I mean, they would like to find out whether whatever we said is actually valid because they would like to validate, I mean, our experiences uh, by, 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 speaking with our former supervisors or colleagues. So coming to the reference checks, I mean, do we have the testimony of the word? I mean, are we, I mean, that, that the word of God ensures us that we are a follower of Jesus and that the Holy Spirit, I mean, testify within us that we are someone who is a child of God and we are uh, a follower of Jesus. So, I mean, these are very important and critical reference checks that we have to go through. I mean, before, uh, I mean, we, we present ourselves, I mean, to be someone who is going to be used by God. Then, finally, I mean, after getting, after passing through all this process, <clears throat> the job offer letter will come. So at least, I mean, I have mentioned the, I mean, at a minimum, I mean, job offer letters, I mean, will we will cover these four areas. So the first thing is the name of the position. And then they will say something about the start date, uh, about the salary, and also the details about the benefits. So these are uh, actually, I mean, like a, a very simple uh, job offer letter actually that will cover I mean, some of I mean the, some of the very important uh, issues. So um, the name of the position that we are going to have is uh, I mean serving the Almighty God. So it's not serving the Prime Minister office. It's not serving the Presidential office, or I mean, uh, uh, it's not being in the best hospital we think about. Or I mean, so it's it's more than that. But the issue is I mean, usually I mean people. Uh, we will go so many we will give so many excuses and of course i mean 
we are not that enlightened actually to see how important that job is. Uh, because when we read in the scripture, I mean, I, I, I'm always amazed by the, the Apostle Paul. Because, because Paul, he was like a mad, I mean, a mad man actually when he was serving the Lord. So he is preaching the gospel with all of his energy, with all of his heart. Um, I mean, he he is so I mean, giving himself fully to the Lord, and he has been used by the Lord. I mean, very mightily. I mean, as you can read through his uh, uh, epistles. So you see. So that comes from his understanding of whom he is serving. So when I say that the name of the position is serving the Almighty God, so this is something that we we uh, so I mean something that is related to our understanding of who God is, and our level of understanding of of of, of, of I mean what does it mean I mean to be someone who is serving Him, and that and that is something which is very important and very critical and something that needs to be understood very well spiritually by by each one of us. So serving the Almighty God is the position, and the study is of course right away. Because I mean, Jesus said the harvest is many and the workers are few. And therefore, I mean, anytime when we are ready, I mean, we are, we can start the job. So that, that, that is the start date. It can be just right now, we, we, I mean, we, we, we can make a decision, I mean, to save every opportunity for the expansion of his kingdom. And as we just leave this conference or as we just travel out to, to, to our neighbors, I mean, we can, we can we can start sharing the gospel, and we can we can do whatever uh, I mean God has led us to do. I mean for the expansion of His kingdom. I mean, as medical professions, of course. I mean, like in the clinics, in the hospitals. I mean, we can take every opportunity. I mean, to tell people who Jesus is and who I mean and and what does it mean? I mean, to be someone who is uh, I mean uh, believing in Jesus. So I mean, the, the start date is. Uh, right away. So the, the salary is living with the Lord forever. So, I mean, we'll be entitled to live with him forever. So what does this mean? So how do you feel, I mean, if you're invited to a prime minister's office for a day or, or, or just for an hour, I mean, or, or I mean, if you're j just for lunch and, and, and think about, I mean, how do you feel if you're invited by, I mean, by, by the country's president just to, to, to spend a lunch uh, in a place where he is there. So this is something that we are very excited about, but I mean, living with the Lord forever is something which is quite unimaginable and something which is which surpasses, I mean, all understanding. So, I mean, that is uh, the salary. So we, when we go to the details of, of, of the benefits, so uh, we'll be shining like stars forever. I mean, of course, because the Bible says, I mean, those people who are bringing money to, to um, who, who are turning money to, to God and will be shining like stars. So that's from the, from the book of Daniel, chapter 12, verse 3. So, I mean, shining like stars is, uh, I mean, is the benefits. Because imagine, I mean, you are in eternity, you are with the Lord. And imagine when you see many other people shining like stars and when you are not, and you really feel ashamed. I mean, don't think that, I mean, people are, I mean, and of course, I mean, people, all people are not in the same level of reward, I mean, in heaven. I mean, there are quite lots of differences, I mean, depending on how much and, and, and how loyal we are uh, to, 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 to our Lord. So shining like stars forever are the benefits and then everlasting joy and peace. And of course, that joy and peace starts right now because i mean when we when we come to the lord and definitely the lord will fill us with with the peace and with the joy of salvation and that is something that we enjoy right now i mean with the holy spirit residing in us and then for eternity i mean we'll be someone who will be who will be shining like stars because we have turned many to to the lord I and mean, we have turned many to him so this is uh, i mean these are the, the these are the details about the benefits that we need to think about whenever I mean, we think about this job. 
thought the question is, um, am I, uh, I mean, fit for the job? So this is something that we need to answer. I mean, are we really fit for the job? And this job is the best job ever. And therefore, I mean, this is the question that we need to answer.